Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to provide you a solution to fix the issue of 5 GHz Wi-Fi which is not connecting in your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, head over to settings menu, choose Windows update and if any update is pending at your end, choose the option download and install to make your Windows up to date because updating your Windows will update your Wi-Fi drivers which help you connecting 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Next is right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here ncpa.cpl and then hit the enter key. Now here right click on your Wi-Fi and choose the option properties. In this pane make sure you must check mark this particular option which is internet protocol 6 TCP IPv6. This particular option must be check marked. Nextly, click on this option which is configure. Hit the yes button if it is asking you to proceed with the changes. Now here, click on the advanced tab. Now select the wireless mode and make sure you must choose the last option which is A and AC and AX. Nextly is choose the option preferred band. And here, make sure you choose the option 5G or 5G first. And nextly is choose 2.4 GHz. And from here also, you need to choose the very last option. Then hit the OK button. Now don't forget to restart your PC and try to connect with your 5 GHz Wi-Fi. If 5 GHz Wi-Fi is still not connecting, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on Start menu and choose the option Device Manager. Here expand Network Adapters. From here, select your Wi-Fi adapter, right click on it and choose the option Properties. From here, click on the driver tab and click on the option update driver. Choose the second option which is browse my computer for drivers. Again choose second option, let me pick from the list of available drivers on my computer. Now whatever the drivers are present right over here, select the driver and one more thing friends, if more than one driver are present over here, you need to select the latest drivers whose date is already mentioned next to the driver name if more than one drivers are present. Once chosen, hit the next button and it will automatically update your Wi-Fi adapter to the latest drivers which will again help you fix out the issue of 5 GHz Wi-Fi not connecting in your Windows 10 or Windows 11. If both method fails, in third step, I suggest you to do a power cycle of your router. For that, unplug your Wi-Fi router from the power supply and unplug all the cables from your Wi-Fi. Wait for at least 5 to 6 minutes and then replug your Wi-Fi with the electricity, turn on and then try to connect your windows using the Wi-Fi. Doing this, all the static charge will be removed from your router and in turn help you connecting the 5 GHz Wi-Fi with your system. If all this method fails, click on the start menu and type CMD. Choose the option run as administrator. In this method, we are going to check whether our system or Wi-Fi is capable of 5 GHz Wi-Fi or not. Type here net sh wlan show drivers and then hit the enter key. From here, scroll and you need to find the option of radio type supported. Now in radio type supported, you need to note down the alphabets present next to the numeric value. So, if you have a numeric value ending with the letter N, G or B, which means that your Wi-Fi adapter only supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. In order to support 5 GHz, you must have an alphabet value AC, AX, N or A. If you do not have these alphabets next to the radio type supported, then sorry to say, but your laptop doesn't support 5 GHz Wi-Fi and that is the reason your Wi-Fi is not connecting to 5 GHz in your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So for that, you need to purchase a separate router for your laptop or computer to connect to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. So this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.